Well, we are now. Moving on, I have are we on to the next event or are we on to a medal presentation? Start list for the men's 50 metres breaststroke SP3 final. Tagayuka Suzuki is... Tagayuka Suzuki from Japan. In line number four. Breaststrokers at the presentation end of the pool. One length of the pool, 50 metres breaststroke. Of course, the classifications in Paralympic swimming. As we said a few times this week, no harm in just going over that again. One to ten for swimmers with a physical impairment. Class one being the most severe, class ten being the least impaired. 11 to 13, swimmers with a visual impairment. With S11 being swimmers who are totally blind, they have no vision. And 12 to 13 degrees of partial sight. And S14, swimmers with an intellectual disability. So we have swimmers here with a physical disability. Remember, S1 is the most severe. These are in the S3 class, so we have swimmers with affected in all four limbs or certainly three out of four limbs severely affected and we have multiple amputations very high spinal impairments or cerebral palsy so Swimmers just making their way out onto pool deck. A little bit late because of that delay. But here come the finalists in the men's SB3 50 meters breaststroke. Mesdames et messieurs, derrière les blocs de départ, il s'agit des finalistes de l'épreuve numéro 154, le 50 mètres brasse. Chez les messieurs, SB3 au championnat du monde de natation du PC 2013. Tommy Yuki Suzuki goes in lane four for Japan. But Niccolo Bensi, first swimmer up in lane one, Italy. Thomas Slavinka from the Czech Republic in two. Michael Schoenmacher, gold medalist from London in three. Tagayuki Suzuki, gold medalist from Beijing in four. Miguel Luque, the reigning world champion in five. Vasiliki Sakaris from Greece in six. Alexander Lesikin from Russia in seven. And Gustavo Sanchez Martinez in eight from Mexico. I'm sure you'll have a very loud support from Mexico. As all the Mexican swimmers have had this week. But three Big names, all title winners in the centre lanes, lanes three, four, and five. Schoenmacher, the gold medalist from London Paralympic Games last year. Suzuki, the gold medalist from the Beijing Paralympic Games in 2008. And Miguel Luque from Spain in lane five. The world champion in 2010 and in 2006. He wants to make this a treble world championship title winning race. The Spanish swimmer in lane number five. It's always a very, very tight race. This 50 metres breaststroke SB3. It has been the last few years. These guys going head to head. Well, a nice start there for lane number four. Suzuki from Japan is the only man to break 50 seconds. 49.99 to qualify centre of the pool. The battle's really going to be between Luke and Schumacher. Schumacher in three and Luke in lane number five. He's going very well at the moment, but as we can see, a full body length clear 
is Suzuki going very well also at the very top of the screen is Bensi, Bensi from Italy having a, a great performance this evening but Suzuki is leading, Luke is trying to close him down in lane number five, he's one lane up in the blue hat to the right of the screen but it's still Suzuki leading now with about seven metres to go Suzuki had a good start, but Luki coming back. Luki has got longer arms than Suzuki. Is it going to make a difference? Looks like Suzuki first to dive into the wall, and the world record holder gets it. 49.87. Suzuki wins the gold. It goes to Japan. Luki from Spain, the silver medalist, just 0.4 of a second behind, and a further half a second behind the Paralympic champion, Michael Schumacher from the Netherlands. But Suzuki takes the goal for Japan and he is delighted. Well, I could hear his yell of delight. Yeah, he said twice through the air. It was blistering through my headphones. Look at the margin there on the dive start. Absolutely awesome. He isn't the fastest swimmer. It was really about the start that gave him the advantage. In fact, I would say that his actual swim speed itself was a little bit slower than Luki. Miguel Luki in lane five for Spain. It was all about the start. And as we know, Luki has a longer reach for the finish. At this point here, he could have stole the show. But we saw the delight and heard the yells of delight from Suzuki there. The white hat in the middle in four. Bang! Stopping the touch pads there and stopping them inside 50 seconds again. 49.87. Yeah, just a touch faster than he went this morning. 49.87, and it's good enough for goal. Tagayuki Suzuki, he's the winner from Japan. Another gold medal at these championships for the team from Japan. The result is confirmed. We do have a disqualification. Gustavo Sanchez Martinez for Mexico, but it doesn't affect the medal positions. Suzuki, Luque, Schoenmacher, that's the gold, silver and bronze. Well, we've caught up to the schedule, the race that we missed.